Welcome back. Police are still on a manhunt for a suspect involved in the killing of Ida Odinga's aide. Barak Otieno was shot dead early this morning by an individual by an individual believed to be the manager of a popular nightclub in Kisumu. Now police have issued a public security warning saying that the suspect is armed and dangerous. Bramo Bire reports. According to witness reports, the deceased Barak Otieno was in company of two others, Dona Kajuang and Marilyn Oma. The three revelers had hoped for a fun night at Donde's Hotel in Kisumo. They left the establishment together at around 3 a.m. It is reported that they proceeded to Victoria Garden's apartment where the fun turned to fury. At house number 55, the trio came face to face with the suspect, Colin Sokundi, who is a manager of Signature Club in Kisumo. A scuffle is reported to have ensued and the suspect disarmed Mama Ida Odinga's aide, shot him twice, killing him on the spot. The other male, Donna, was injured and is currently hospitalized. The lady in question, who is alleged to be Okundi's lover, escaped unhurt. Police have mounted a manhunt for the main suspect who escaped with the mother weapon. The motion ensued between Okundi and the Dano. Wakati promotion ilianza between Okundi and Dano, seemingly ni kama wako na clunch. Awa wili. That's when Collins shot Barak Onyango. Fatally, hapo hapo tu. Kandi chupo kumikia kwa? Uh, it is yet to be established that uh, the gun is used to organize the use because he shot both of them, one fatally and others in charge. So we are still investigating to confirm if we can require the barrack of Nyango, Kama, the police are required to require because they are at large. The Signature Club has, however, issued a press statement distancing itself from the unfortunate occurrence that led to the death of Barack Otieno. Now, former Kiambu woman representative